Hello everyone, you're watching Hard Video Audio Stuff. The Canon 1DX Mark III is here, so let's dive straight into the video specs to see how good it's gonna be and see whether Canon have done any of the throttling of a product's potential that they're so well known for doing. If you enjoy the content, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, that's the best way to support the channel. Let's do it. The first thing I noticed that I think is a big mistake on Canon's part is that they didn't include sensor stabilization. I don't like this. It's 2020 and IBIS makes so much sense. If you've used it, then you know what I'm talking about. However, they have included what they're calling movie digital IS, which could actually overcome not having sensor stabilization. The way it's gonna work is it will crop into the sensor a little bit in the same way as software stabilization works, but given that it can shoot in 5.5K without cropping into the sensor, this could be okay. The 1DX Mark III has so many shooting modes, too many to list right now, but the headlines are, which I'm sure you already know, are that it shoots up to 5.5K internally in 12-bit RAW up to 60 frames per second. That's huge. It's gonna use the Canon Cinema Raw Light Kodak from the C200, which has a data rate of up to 2.6 thousand megabits per second. Nuts, right? But great if you need it. Personally, the option I prefer would be the 4K 10-bit 422 log recording, which uses the brilliant H265 codec. And it's a data rate of, I think, 340 megabits per second. And if you want a full fat version, it will do at 1000 megabits per second in all I mode. Fuck. The downsides here are that Canon's brilliant dual pixel autofocus is disabled when filming at 50 and 60 frames per second in these modes. A little bit annoying, however, you do get peaking, which is a nice feature, good of Canon to add that. One thing I found difficult to find any information on is the high frame rate capabilities in video. It will shoot 120 frames per second, but I couldn't find any information regarding whether it's with a crop or if the autofocus is enabled or disabled. Hopefully we'll know soon, and if I find out, I will pop it in the comments below. Of course, the 1DX Mark III uses CF Express cards, which in my opinion are great and really fast, but they're expensive, and for some reason the readers seem hard to find, but not sure why. <laughs> I suppose if you're dropping 7,000 big ones on this camera, you're, you'll be prepared to drop even more on the required media. So, the 1DX Mark III, I love what Canon have done with the video specs here. This camera is a huge step forward for them in an increasingly competitive market. And I'm sure this camera is gonna have video guys torn between buying it, a Canon C200, Sony's many offerings, or something like a Blackmagic. All I know is that competition is a great thing. I'm not buying it, nope. <laughs> it's an expensive camera, and I'm still really excited about either a new Canon Pro mirrorless body, or the next in the line of the Sony A7S cameras. What do you make of the specs? Are you buying it or are you gonna buy one of the others I mentioned instead? Let me know down below. And that's it for now. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you could just hit the blob, I'll pop it on this side. And I've got a large back catalog of videos about videography on this channel of which YouTube recommends the top one for you. And the one under underneath is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys. My body's holding me.